Welcome to this Excel edition of weighted averages and um, cell references, really. So in this particular example, I have three categories. I have homework, quizzes, and tests. And I know that the weights for this particular class, homework is 70% of my grade, quizzes are 25% of my grade, and tests are 5% of my grade. So I'm going to use Excel to find my weighted average using cell references. So the first thing that I have to do is I have to find my category averages because I can't use all of my homework numbers here. I just need one. So first, I'm going to just put my averages right underneath. So for homework, I'm going to go to formulas. Now I've uh, just using these, we're using statistical um, formulas and we're using the average. So when I click average, you can see it automatically gives me A2 to A5, which is exactly what I want. And I'm going to hit enter. So my homework category average is 89.5. I'm going to go ahead and just find my other averages as well. Now, since I just use averages, it's going to show up in my recently used formulas. So again, I'm under the formula tab, recently used, average. Now, I want these three. So again, I drag and highlight, make them all in the circulating box there, and enter. And then I'm going to go to tests again, recently used formulas, average, and I'm going to highlight those. You always want to make sure you have the right cells in that rotating box being figured for your average. Okay, so I now have my category averages and I need to move them over to this spot over here. Well, we want everything to be connected with our cell references. So we want to use formulas for this. Now, I want 89.5, right? I want this cell to move here. Well, we always start with an equal sign. If you're inputting your own formula into Excel, you always start with an equal sign. So I'm going to start with equals. And if I want this number, I just click on it. And notice how it says equal A6. A6 is in blue. 89.5 is circulating and the cell is blue. Hit enter and it will automatically move it over. Same thing with quizzes. Equals. Click on the quiz box. Enter. Same with tests. Always start with an equal sign. Click on that 66 and enter. Now, the reason this is important, and I'm going to show you this a couple different times, but let's say that I screwed up and this 80% was really supposed to be a 20%. If I change that to a 20 and I hit enter, look at what it changes. It changes cell A6 and cell G2 because they are the same, right? Okay, I'm going to click undo because I don't want to change that. But that's why cell references are important. So if you change one thing, it's a filter down effect, and it will change everything. Okay, now, recall that to find the weighted average, you take the category average times the percentage. So for homework, I want to take the category average times, we use that little star, I call it a snowflake, and we multiply by the weights. Now, Excel is smart. You have 70 in there as a percent. It's going to multiply 70% as the 0.7, as we know that's how you do it by hand. So, um, 89.5 times 0.7 is 62.65. Great. Now, one thing about Excel. Notice how I use cell references here. I use G2 times H2. Excel recognizes patterns. So, you see this little um, green box here in the corner? If I put my cursor over there to make that black plus sign and I double click, it's going to use the same pattern of cell references. So notice when I click on this I3, look at the formula up here. It's G3 times H3, G3 times H3. And for the 3.3, it's G4 times H4. So if you have it set up where there's a pattern and you're going to do the same thing in every line, once you do the first one, Use that green box in the corner, black plus sign, double click, and Excel will automatically populate um, because it's, it follows those formulas. Now, we know um, from our, our work with doing weighted averages by hand that once you have the category average times the weights, you simply add those, those numbers together. So I'm going to start with an equal sign, and I'm going to start with 62.65. And I'm going to add, right, plus sign. Notice how when I hit the plus sign, that blue box no longer is rotating. It's solid. And then I'm going to go to I3. And now look, it's changed colors. It's red. And it's circulating. When I hit the plus sign, it becomes solid. And I can go to my last one, which is in purple. And I love the color coding. So you can look at this and see where are your numbers coming from. Now, 
Those are the three numbers I want to add together. I hit enter and boom. My weighted average for this class is an 85.7, which would be a B. Okay, so there's kind of a brief intro to using weighted averages in Excel, using cell references.